Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Last year around this time I had shared a video about my 1 to 400 scale airport model terminal and you guys absolutely loved that video so I'm back with the brand new variation using my airport parking bay match this time that I have designed. In this video I'll be showing you how I do my setup, what GSE I use and you can follow along step by step. I'll also be sharing some tips about photography and show you how to get the best pictures out of your diorama. So let's begin. For the diorama base in today's video, I'll be using these parking bay mats which I have designed. They come in three variants, namely the wide body variant, the narrow body variant, as well as the cargo variant. These parking bay mats are highly detailed, very accurate and come with lots of markings such as the aero bridge markings, the aircraft stop bars, jet fuel markings, access roads as well as oil stains and rubber markings. These parking bays are available for purchase both as physical mats as well as high resolution digital files that can be downloaded printed locally both in the 1 to 200 as well as the 1 to 400 scale for more details make sure to send me a message on my Instagram or email me on the email id mentioned below Now the next step in making a realistic airport diorama is adding a lot of layers. Here I have a ton of ground service equipment starting with the JC wings pushed back to a truck. This is die cast, very accurate and I absolutely love it. Next up I have figures of cockpit crew and cabin crew in the 1 to 200 scale made by Prizer. They also have a ground crew set that include a marshaler as well as an engineer which I absolutely love. Next up I have a set of these ground power units by Fantasy Wings. They are very well detailed. They actually even have a human figurine in them that I'm going to use in my diorama. Here we have an aircraft cargo loader by Herpa in the 1 to 200 scale. And of course no diorama is complete without cargo containers. Here I have a set from Fantasy Wings that contains cargo pallets as well as a car. I also have these super cool customized Air India cargo pallets that I'm going to add to my 777 setup. Here we have two passenger coaches in the British Airways livery that I will try and incorporate in my diorama. Here are some passenger bags that I can add to the conveyor belt to show a nice cargo loading scene. An inexpensive but a very important addition to your GSE collection has to be a passenger aero bridge. This one by JC Wings has two aero bridges for a wide body aircraft and does a fantastic job elevating your entire scene. Alternatively, if you do not want glass aero bridges, there's another option available in the market. This is by a Chinese manufacturer and I absolutely love it. I mean, just look at the amount of details on this one. The last two sets in my GSC collection are by Gemini 200. One of them is an aircraft support equipment set and the other one is an aircraft service vehicle set. The two airplanes I'll be using in today's demonstration are an Air India 777 for the wide body and an Indian Airlines 320 for the narrow body display. I start off my setup by placing my parking bay mat on a flat horizontal table. Lighting is very important to me so I make sure there is good natural ambient light directly on my setup. The star ingredient in any setup has to be the airplane model and today I have an Air India 777 by Inflight 200. What a gorgeous model. I start building my setup by placing the aero bridge in the designated aero bridge marked zone and thereafter I connect the aero bridge to the L1 and L2 passenger door of the aircraft. Even with the minimal setup like so the diorama already looks Looks amazing, which goes to show how important a good base is, along with proper lighting. Here you can see me add more elements right below the aero bridge, and here I am connecting the tow bar for the pushback tow truck. This pushback tow truck by JC Wings comes with some accessories like a pair of ladders and some cones. So let's place them on the right side of the aircraft. Keep in mind that despite being the 1 to 200 scale, these objects are very tiny and require a great amount of precision as well as patience. Next up let's place these ground crew figures by Pricer which are great but just cannot stand upright by themselves frustrating so let's find a solution the answer to our problem is some white adhesive like fevicol with which we can glue the ground crew directly onto the parking bay mat this step requires a lot of patience and a lot of trial and error if you have a better figurine you can recommend let me know in the comments below but i finally had to just give up <laughs> The great thing about this parking bay mat is that it's waterproof and non-tear so I could easily wipe off the excess glue with a damp cloth. Now slowly I'm going to start adding a lot of vehicles, push back tow trucks, cargo containers as well as cargo loading equipment onto my diorama. Here you can see me add more vehicles like the fuel bowser as well as the catering truck on the R2 passenger door and on the aft door I'm going to add the air stairs as well as the crew bus. Overall I'm really happy with how the display is turning up it looks absolutely phenomenal and realistic now let's add some cargo equipment on the right side of the aircraft 
Starting off with the aft cargo door, I'm going to place a lot of containers as well as pallets to replicate an accurate cargo loading scene onto the aircraft. I have also positioned a conveyor belt loader at the bulk cargo door of this 777. Now let's do a similar setup for the forward cargo door of the aircraft. There are no specific rules but it's best to reference real-time pictures to get the most accurate displays. Overall, I'm really happy with the display. The final product looks complete. The frame is busy but also not too cluttered which is exactly how I like it. But of course, everyone can use their own style and creativity. Now here in front of you is another diorama setup with an Airbus A320 demonstrating the use of the narrow body parking bay. I have shot this diorama during the second second half of the day to achieve some nice 4 o'clock shadows and to show you how a slight change in lighting gives such different results, hence playing a very important role in achieving a high level of realism in your photographs. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video and learnt a few things about photography and doing your setup. If you found this video useful, please support my work by subscribing to my channel and do leave a comment below. Thank you.